Yo, B, what's good with his son? We got another video coming to you straight from your mother all the way through your grandmother's house today. So you know what we about to cover. Your boy, K Flocker, just had a big-ass fight at Rolling Loud. He was with the boy, Dougie B, and that shit was going down. Before I get into the details, though, I want y'all to subscribe, hit that like button, and get ready to drop something in the comments because we got some gangster shit going down today. So today, man, motherfuckers was chilling out of their business. You know what I'm saying? K Flock and his boy Dougie B was at the Rolling Loud performance. You know what I'm saying? Handling their business. You know what I mean? About six other uh, niggas look like uh, K Flock are all light skin, long hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? They all just outside of shit. Uh, letting uh, the wind hit their hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? Get, catching a the breeze. Then a random ass nigga. Well, I ain't gonna say random. He did have a performance. His name is. Okay, so it's Ron Suno and Siri De Niro. Yeah, that nigga name is Siri. Don't even know how to say Siri right there, but it's Siri. Wait, so, you know what I'm saying? Apparently, them boys walked up on him like, oh, yeah, that's the niggas who was talking? Yeah, that's K Flock and them. That's some niggas who was talking? Yo, look, I'm 21. Them niggas only 18. I feel like I could walk up on these niggas and press down and still have the advantage. You feel me? So let's go. Because let me tell you something about whole ass niggas. Whole ass niggas only do shit when they got the advantage. like, Or they feel like they got a little something. They, listen, whole ass niggas is never doing nothing on no balance or on no good skill. You feel me? He see Cape Flock in there trying to handle business and shit. He know his business ain't bigger than Cape Flock's business. So he figured he can run down on them and press down on that business. You feel me? You know what I mean? Hype his career up because that's what that shit was about. Because if you don't know who Bray is, he the weed, 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 weed nigga. You feel me? Like, he the weed nigga. He be weaving, running up, weed, weed. What weaving shit, you feel me? Like, so he figured he could come up the K flag and do the same thing, like, not knowing that these ain't no average light skinned niggas. K flag and his boys, Dougie Doug, wasn't that Dougie B? He, he, he the darkest, he the, he the darkest light skinned nigga I ever met. He might as well be light skinned. You heard how he was talking? I pushed you in the face, son, and you ain't fall. You ate it a little bit. You looked at me like, nigga, give me some more. But I still hit you. But your mans, I beat your man, son, you all over, son. Uh, that's on, that, that, he got a little light skin in his blood, although he is brown. So you feel me? Them niggas walked up. And let me tell you how these niggas was, see? K. Flock already knew it was a little something. So when they walked up, K. Flock was like, nigga, ain't none of that. Nigga, I'm not dabbing up none of that. Fuck all that shit. Because K. Flock was saying he's going to beat his ass. But you know how niggas be talking. But, you know, K. Flock was willing to stand on that. You feel me? Like, because it could bro, a comedian. You feel me? Like, so that's what I'm saying. Niggas be knowing shit and trying to play off of it. Because niggas knew that K. Flock was going to be like, nigga, fuck are you a comedian. Instead of getting on Dean soon as he seen Jit, you feel me? So when niggas know that, they feel like they got the elements of surprise, which is why uh, the nigga uh, Ronnie Suno and, and, and Siri De Niro, you feel me, decided to go and get the cracking on them niggas to swing first, you feel me? Like, listen, niggas not as hard as they is. And you not a real street nigga who can put the shit together because... The, 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 the Ron nigga was trying to shake burn hand up and shit. Like, the Ron nigga was trying to really, really get into, like, a nice little argument scuffle. But he seen, like, bro was paying him. So his boy had to go ahead and throw that first punch. But I seen the video. I got the video. Come on now. Man, I don't know who the fuck on k Flock side. It was a nigga right next to him. Hit one of them niggas with a fucking captain punch. Motherfucking Falcon punched that nigga into the graveyard, nigga. God damn, put that nigga in the bed. Put that nigga in the dirt. God damn. You feel me? Then they got another video of the nigga Ryan getting beat up. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas was throwing them back and them niggas fighting 12. Security. Plus niggas. Like, you gotta get them niggas they motherfucking balls. You feel me? And they came out damn near scratch, scrape. You feel me? So... It's, it's really both sides, you feel me? Them niggas was kind of wrong but with how they did it. You feel me? With the, you know, trying to shake hands, that's what's good. They come on the internet flexing like it was wooty woo. You feel me? I don't feel like it was or was good with it as if they said. But who am I to say that? Because them niggas got it cracking first. You feel me? So, we, so in my heart, I feel like they the approach 
was kind of fuck niggity. Done by a nigga who probably be on fuck niggity shit. But I can't say shit because them niggas got it cracking first. You feel me? So so if the, if the Ron nigga and the Siri nigga want to be like, nigga, you on some man, nigga, you perping, you capping, nigga, we was on. You feel me? They can say that. It really ain't shit I can say. I got to keep it real true. That's the name of the goddamn show. You feel me? But at the same time, like, I'm sensing something off in the character of Ron. Like, I want to see a little bit more. I want to see a little bit more of this nigga before I totally base my decision. But I can smell a little... A little, a little, a little clout, a little clout chaser on, bro. You feel me? Like, and by how, bro, talking, you getting all hyped up, as if you ain't just say you, you twenty one fighting eighteen year olds. You know what I'm saying? You got a little too hyped up in the car on that video. You like, and, and I have known from my real street nigga experience, the nigga who be doing all that, got a little cap in that shit. So I need you to calm it down, calm it down. You a real nigga, Sean. You a real nigga, Sean. You feel me? Because we already smelt a little something on Cake Flock, you know what I'm saying? But shit ain't nobody perfect. But I, I hear what the Ron and the Siri nigga was saying. Like, these niggas is making sense, you feel me? You feel me? So let it, let it be like the internet making y'all seem a little clout chasey. Make it seem like the internet makes it seem like y'all niggas really do whatever to get whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Prove the internet wrong. You know what I'm saying? Let's see you step. I want to see niggas step on some fair one on one. And that's what them niggas say. I want to see them niggas step. Not even on one, just in a situation where it's equal. If it's five niggas with guns, I want to see five niggas with guns on the other side. I want this shit to get really motherfucking trill in this motherfucking field. A motherfucking New York concrete jungle. You feel me? It's Cash Carter checking in. Never checking.